Okay, now let's do the material balance for this particular questions. Okay, so you're given acetic acid. Okay, acetic acid to be extracted from the aqueous solution. So aqueous solution consists of acetic acid plus water. Okay, so you're given uh, acetic acid as your solute. Okay. Solute, uh, since you're dealing with aqueous solution, so you have uh, water okay, as your carrier, okay, and to be extracted from the aqueous solution by using pure isopropyl. So, isopropyl ether is your uh, solvent, okay, solvent which is your C, okay. And then the aqueous feed consists of 68% of acetic acid. Alright, now you are given you are given this one as your X A0, which is equal to 0 0.6. Okay. Therefore, X B0 is equal to 0 0.4. Okay enters the extractor at a rate of 200 kg per hour okay so if you read again the aqueous feed consists of 60 weight 60 weight percent of acetic acid enters the extractor at the rate of 200 kg per hour so this is your feed which is l not equal to 200 kg per hour the final refinement phase consists of 10 weight percent of acetic acid the final refinement okay so you are dealing with a uh, solute at the refinement solute at the refinement which is uh, x a n equal to 0 0.1 Okay. So the length of intermediate coordinates is uh, M to solvent Vn plus 1 and to the feed aqueous solution L0 is equal to the ratio of 1 to 1. So let's say you have a line. Okay, you have a line. Okay. This is where you have your L0, the coordinate for L0. Here is where you have the coordinates for your uh, Vn plus 1, which is your solvent. And the middle position is your point M because uh, the distance here and this distance are the same, which is 1 to 1. Okay. And you are given the diagram of acetic acid, water, isopropyl ether system which is given in appendix 3 now your job is to calculate the flow rates of pure isopropyl which is the flow rates of pure isopropyl this is your solvent flow mass flow rate which is Vn plus 1 so you should cal calculate this one entering the extractor okay and you need to find the composition of the extract and refinate and the number of theoretical stages required for the system okay so normally this one you get from the graph so you get the answer from the graph okay same thing here you get your answer from the graph Okay, so in these uh, questions, alright, so we're going to use the uh, material balance to solve for the unknowns. Okay, now let's uh, draw the schematic diagram so that it's going to be easier for us to do the calculation. Okay, let's label this L0 is given by 200 kilogram per hour okay and then uh, you also given the information for 
for the uh, XA naught which is 0 0.6 okay or you can have XB naught is equal to 0 0.4 and then you have your refinate which is LN here and the composition of your refinate is X a n is equal to 0 0.1 for the solute here you have a v n plus 1 okay and you are given it is pure isopropyl ether so this is y c n plus 1 is equal to 1 okay and here is your extract which is v1 okay so the stream is called extract here you have your feed here is your refinate and here is your solvent okay okay now let's do the material balance for the given questions okay Okay, what do we have here? Okay, we have uh, overall mass balance. Okay. So, overall balance, which is, you can have L0 plus VN plus 1 equal to ln plus v1 equal to m okay so you know some information here you know that l naught is equal to 200 okay plus vn plus 1 is equal to ln plus v1 is equal to m okay so this is our first equation. Just keep it first. Okay, now let's do the balance on component A. Okay. So we have L naught X A naught plus uh, V N plus 1 multiplied by Y A N plus 1. Okay which is equal to let's say we just take this one m multiply by x a m okay so substitute we have 200 multiply by x a naught 0 0.6 okay plus uh, v a v n plus 1 multiply by zero because your solvent stream consists of pure isopropyl so cn plus one is equal to one already therefore yen is equal to zero okay and then uh, you get to have uh, you're gonna have your m okay m with the x a m you have found the value of x a m from the graph okay you can refer to the previous uh, video that we get and the value for x a m is 0 0.3 so therefore you have m multiplied by 0 0.3 okay so this is your equation number two okay equation number two now we can combine equation number one which consists of this part and this m and we also have this one for equation number two all right so now let's simplify what we have okay so we're going to substitute m is equal to 200 plus vn plus one into equation number two okay into equation number two all right so what you have so this is equation number two 
So we're going to rewrite again. So 200 multiplied by 0 0.6 plus 0 equal to m multiplied by 0 0.3. We're going to substitute our M. So 200 times 0 0.6 is 120 equal to your M, which is uh, 200 plus Vn plus 1 multiplied by 0 0.3. Okay, so you're going to open the bracket. You have 60 plus uh, 0 0.3 Vn plus 1 So you just rearrange to get Vn plus 1 equal to 200 kilogram per hour So this is the answer for the first part of the questions Okay so you can find the answer for the second part and the third part of the questions in the video that I have shared with you earlier. Okay, so the value that you get for second part and the third part is from the graphical method.